Peace, many depart for the European shamanism and modern pagan lifestyle channel. This is the introduction to druidry. What is a bard? A bard is a historian. He's a storyteller. He's an artist. He's a poet. He's a dancer. He's an actor. He can marry people. What does this tell us? History and remembered interaction of people and people or people and the world goes hand in hand with storytelling and poetry. The Native Americans of the rainforest in uh, South America have this thing called a woven language where they have words that are used for other words as to not bounce against the reality of what is really meant. For example, um, a jaguar they describe as a basket because the basket has the same structure like the skin of a, a jaguar. So they say basket instead of jaguar as to not bounce against the reality of the jaguar because you might call him you might, with your words, bring danger into your direct environment. So they use this, this thing called woven language, or language twisted twisted, literally translated, uh, as, a, as a sort of coded message to interpret the world. And what is storytelling or poetry more than something that is coded as to not fully represent reality, but to go forth and be closely related to that reality. Because whether it's history or just any event, when it's being retold, it can never fully represent the reality of that event. It will always carry some form of falsehoods or errors and so by pouring it into poetry or a song or a dance it becomes an art form. You represent something that has already been passed into the present without trying to fully replicate it a hundred percent. History is a representation of what was there but it's never fully um, represented by our words. This is why in oral tradition where you tell the songs and, and, and you, you tell the stories is so important because it's not a fully 100% perfect representation of what used to be. This is what the Romans and the Greeks did. They wrote it down and made it true because it's written down. So it must be true, right? This is something that we still have in our heads today. Well, it's written down, so it must be true. Well, no, it's not. Roman and Greek history has a lot of errors in it, sometimes even deli deliberate errors. For example, when they represented the Celts. We can only hope that our modern bards will carry that ancient tradition of art as a representation of history instead of full on being a historian and thinking that you can represent history. I read a lot of history and I'm writing a book for example which has a lot of history in it but even I have to acknowledge that I cannot fully represent everything and I cannot look at it in every direction I cannot um, know everything that was there so it's always a simplification of history and so art is a representation of a small piece of history without the presumption of 
it representing the full-on history. Bards can also marry people, which means that by saying words, there's something magical happening, because by saying you are now married, just by words, it's just simple words, like there is a door over there, by simply saying those words, there is this magical bond that is created with people, and they are now married. Now, of course, bonds can be broken, I'm not saying that. It's just that we place power upon words. And so when a bard speaks those words, there's a magic of power there. So when you look at it, a bard will try to reshape the world by representing it into an art form story or poetry or music he represents the past and is reshaping that past because of his activity in the present but he can also shape the future or even the present by speaking words so taking me as an example I am Manny the Bard I make rap music that has a lot of uh, medieval and Celtic influences I'm not a full-on historian, but I do read a lot of history because I'm writing philosophical books and it has uh, they have a lot of history in them. And I'm now doing this here, um, which is not really storytelling, but I am uh, sharing knowledge or sharing ideas or even um, calling on you to share, um, like a bard, what you are doing and so for all you bards out there um, hit me up you know if you want to do something together I'm open for that if you want to comment on what you do uh, as a bard in your life or how you um, incorporate bardism into your daily life let me know as well we can always learn from each other and so we need each other um, because it's uh, uh, bardism is a thing of skill you have to um, develop your skill and we can always learn new stuff. So um, to all you bards out there, peace to you and see you next time. A bard is a historian. He's a storyteller. He's an artist. He's a poet. He's a dancer. He's an actor. He can marry people. Did I tell you he's a historian?